أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد we are going to start today inshallah with surah al-jasiyah a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim hamim tanzil al-kitab min allah al-aziz al-hakim inna fi as-samawat wal ard la'ayat lil mu'minin وفي خلقكم وما يبص من دابة آيات لقوم يوقنون صدق الله العظيم. We have seen that most of the surahs of the Quran are in the form of prayers. This relationship has been very evident regarding these last four surahs of the Hamim series. We have seen the Surah Al-Zukhruf, the Surah Al-Dukhan. Both started Hamim Wal Kitab Al Mubin. Both of them. Now the next pair, Surah Al Jasiya and Surah Al Ahqaf. Both starting Hamim Tanzil Al Kitab Min Al Lahi Al Aziz Al Hakim. Also, we find that most of these surahs begin with the mention of Quran. Now Hamim Tanzil Al Kitab Min Al Lahi Al Aziz Al Hakim. Sending down of this book is from Allah, who is all powerful, all wise. Inna fi samawat wa lard la ayat lil mu'minin. Verily, in the heavens and the earth there are signs for those people who believe. Wa fi khalqikum wa ma yabusu min dab, but in ayat li qami yuqinun. And also in your creation, and that which He has spread. The moving creatures, there are signs for those people who are convinced. وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ In the same way, in the alternation of the night and the day. وَمَا أَنْذَرَ اللَّهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ بِالْبِسْتِنِ And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down from the heaven, from sustenance. فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا And then He revives the earth or land. After its death, but tasrif in riyahe, and in the changing of the direction of the winds, la ayatul liqami, ayatul liqami ya kelun. In all these things, there are signs for the people who understand. Tika ayatul lahe natluha aleka bil haq, and these are the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa taala which we are reciting unto you with truth, with a purpose. فَبِأَيِّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ Then in what discourse after Allah and His revelations will they believe? If they are rejecting the ayat of Allah, now what will they believe? وَلُوا لِكُلْ لِأَفْفَاكِ نَسِيمٌ Woe to every sinful liar. يَسْمَوْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تُطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِ He listens to the revelations of Allah recited to him. Summa yusirru mustakbiran. Then he persists and insists in arrogance. Kallam yasbaha. He behaves as if he had not heard them. For bashir rabi azabin alim. So give him a glad tiding of a very painful chastisement. Wa idha alima min ayatina shayyan ittakhadaha huzuwa. And when he comes to know from our revelation something, he takes them in mockery. أُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مَغْرِينَ For them, there is the chastisement which is humiliating and degrading. مِوَرَائِهِمْ جَهَنَّمْ Behind them is the hell. وَلَا يُغْنِي عَنُمْ عَكَسَبُ شَيَّنْ 
whatever they have earned during this life of theirs, it will it will be of no avail to them. Walabat takhadu min duri lai aliya, and also the gods, false gods and protectors, they have taken unto themselves. Besides Allah, they will also be of no avail. Walahum azabun azim, and for them will be a mighty chastisement. Haza hudan. This is the guidance. Walladhi na kafaru be ayat rabbi. As for those who reject and disbelieve in the revelations of your of their Lord, lahum azabun medizan alim. For them shall be a painful chastisement of wrath. Allahu ladhi sakhara lakum al bahar. Allah is He. Who has subjected the sea to you? Let the journey of full of fear be amrahi, so that the ships may sail through it by His command. But let them tahu bin fadli, and so that you can seek out of His bounty. Wala lakum tashkurun, or so that you become thankful to Allah. But sakhara lakum maafi samawati wa maafi lete jamia. This ayah is very noteworthy. The emphasis jamia. And he has subjected to you everything that is in the heavens and everything which is in the earth, all of them. This <coughs> clearly tell, tells you know, the position of man as vicegerent of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Not only those things which are in this world and this earth and round about it, they have been subjected to man. Whole universe has been subjected. So now, when we are conquering the space, this is actually in line with the Quran has said. Allah had already subjected this whole universe to us. It's only the time which has elapsed, you know, just as a seed has to take some time to become a plant. In the same way, this progeny of Adam. Had to take some time to get all that knowledge that it has gathered, and we can't say up to what more limits this human knowledge is to go. Actually, this has to go to the level of the jal, when all the forces of nature would be subjected to the jal. He will have conquered all the forces of the nature, and that is why he will he will then claim, "I am God." When I have conquered whole of the universe, then I am God. But Sakhar alakum maafi samawati wa maafi lardi jamia, jamia minhu. In the fizale kala ayatil liqami tafakkaroon. Verily, in this are the signs for those people who reflect and ponder. Only the dina amanu yaqfiru li the dina la yarjuna ya Allah. O Prophet, say to these those people. Who have come to believe your followers? Young Firu, they should forgive for some why, for a why. Those people who don't hope and don't expect the days of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Now this ayyab Allah, we have been mentioning it many a times. The in the terminology of Quran, the days in which. The big command of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala was executed, destroying whole nations. But zakir hum be ayam illa, taskir be ala illa, and taskir be ayam illa. I mentioned these two terms adopted by Shah Wali Ullah Dehlvi, rahmatullah alayhi. So because they don't fear it, so give them some respite. Let them ponder. Let them think. Don't wish that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Would bring them the chastisement immediately. Only the zina amanu yaksiru the zina la yajuna ya Allah. The yajziya kamam bima kanu yaksibu so that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala fully rewards the people of what they do. You give them time so that they can show what amount of evil they have within them. Let the whole evil come out. Man amila salihan fali nafsi whosoever does good deeds. He does it for his own sake. Woman has half a neha, and if he commits some evil, well, it is against himself. Summa ila Rabbi kum turjaun, and then 
to your Lord, you will be returned. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي سَعِيدَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالْنُبُوَّةِ And we had given the children of Israel the book and the judgment and prophethood. And hukum can mean kingdom also. The book, the kingdom and the prophethood. وَرَزَقْنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ And we provided them with good things. وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ this is for the fourth time in Quran about Bani Israel. And we raised them higher than all the nations of the world. Actually in Quran, Alameen, literally should mean all the worlds. But this is a style of Quran that taking the plural something, but what is meant is the thing that is in that. So plural denotes to that. Alameen, all the nations of the world, all the peoples of the world. Fadlallahumar al-Alameen. Twice in Surah Al-Baqarah, once last night, and now here again for the fourth time. Wa'atayanahum bayyanati min al-Alam, when we gave them clear proofs of the command, the ten commandments that Allah gave them. Fawaqtalafu illa min ba'de ma'ajahum al-ilmu baghiyam bayanahum. Afterwards, they didn't differ. But after the knowledge had come to them, and the reason was their jealousy, mutual jealousy, mutual, you know, hatred, you may call. They are to dominate over each other. In the Rabbaka Yagzi Bainahum Yabal Qayaba, verily your Lord will judge between them on the day of the judgment, on the day of resurrection. In all those matters in which they had been differing. And then, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have established you on a sharia of our command. Now it's very important to note, the sharia is after Moses to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Masih alayhi wa sallam didn't bring any sharia. It was hikmah, as we have read last night. Hikmah, wisdom. The essence of iman and faith. But the sharia was the same. And he said so. His words are still preserved in the gospel. Don't think I've come to destroy law. This law of Moses will remain. But now Quran has come. And this is the new sharia. Summa jalna ka ala shariyati min al Then we have established you on the sharia of our command. Fattabeha. So you have to follow that. Walatabeha Lazina Lai Alamun. And don't follow the caprices or the wishes or the lusts of those people who don't know. In the Hum Lai Yunu Anka bin Allah Shah, they will not be able to save you from Allah. Not at all. When the Zalimina Bazum Aulia Baz, these evil doers, they are friends to each other. Some of them are friends to each other. Wallahu Bawaliyul Muttaqeen, as for the God fearing, the friend and the protector is Allah. Hada Basairul Nas, these are enlightenments for the people, Wahudan and guidance, Wa Rahmatulli Kaumi Yukinun. And mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the people who are convinced. Am hasib al lazina ishtarahu sayyat wa naj'alahum kal lazina amanu wa amil salihat sawaam mahyahu wa mamatu. Do these people who are committing and doing evil deeds, they think that we shall make them and those people who have come to believe and who are doing good deeds equal? How is it possible? You have disbelieved, they are believing. You are doing bad deeds, they are doing good deeds. How can they be equal? Sawaam, Mahyahu, Amamatu. Will their living and dying be equal? Saam, Ayah, Kumun. Very wrong is the judgment or the opinion that they have formed. وَخَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heaven and the earth with Truth, that is means, with the purpose. There is nothing purposeless over here. 
ولی تجزا کل نفس مما کسبت سو دیٹ ایوری سول از ری کمپنسڈ واٹ ایور اٹ ہیز ارنڈ وہ ہم لا یوز دا مون اینڈ دے ول ناٹ بی رانگڈ نو ان جسٹس ول بی ڈن ٹو دیم ناؤ کمس ون آف دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ آیات آف قرآن ریگارڈنگ شرک دی پریکٹیکل ایسپیکٹ آف شرک افرا اے تا منی تخاذا الہ ہو ہوا ہو ہیو یو سین اور کنسیڈر دی کیس آف اے پرسن ہو ہیز ٹیکن ہز اون نفس دیٹ مینس دی لس اینڈ ڈیزائرس آف دی نفس آف دی ایڈ اینڈ لیبیڈو ایز اے گاڈ فار ہم سیلف ہی از سینگ ود ہز ٹنگ لا الہ الا اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ ریپیٹنگ اینڈ ریپیٹنگ اینڈ ریپیٹنگ ول ایکچولی ہی ہیز میڈ ہز ڈیزائرس ہز لس گاڈ بائی ہی از اوبینگ دم ود آؤٹ سینگ ویدر اٹ از حلال اور حرام اٹ از پرمیسیبل اور پروہیبیٹڈ بائی اللہ سبحان و تعالی اے ڈیزائر ایمرجس from your id or libido, from amongst your animal instincts, and you follow the desire, you fulfill it. All gratification of that desire you do, without seeing whether the way you have adopted is permissible according to the Sharia of Allah or prohibited. So now who is your Lord? Your God is your nafs. Now, nobody has ever bored towards his nafs or prostrated before the nafs. But this is, this is the practical issue. I might think, and my, I might be proud, I am 100% Muwahid. Because as far as the Tawheed in creed is concerned, Tawheed fil aqeedah, well, I, I am satisfied that I have fully understood it. And I take it. But what about this practical side? Taes Abdul Dinare Abdul Dirham. Woe to the servant of Dinar and Dirham, bondsman of Dirham or Dinar. His name is Abdul Rahman. Actually, he is Abdul Dinar. When he is after getting Dinar, without seeing whether it is halal for him or haram. The love of dinar, the love of dirham, the love of money and wealth is more in their hearts than the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So who is, who is their Lord? Who is their God? Practically, wealth. They are worshipping wealth. Worshipping dollars. Worshipping pounds. Worshipping rupees <coughs> and takas, etc., etc. اَفَرَائِتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَاهُ وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has led him astray despite all his knowledge. He is a PhD. PhD in Tafsir. He got a PhD from McGill in Hadith, in Fiqh. But he is the boss man of his wishes. You might be an alim, you might be a mufassir, you might be a muhaddis, you might be a faqih, you might be a mufti, but if you are serving your lusts and desires irrespective of whether something is permissible or prohibited, then you are mushrik in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ سَمْهِ وَقَلْبِهِ وَجَعَلَىٰ عَلَىٰ بَصْرِهِ غِشَاوَةً And of such a person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a seal on his heart and on his hearing. And there is a curtain before his eyes. Now who can give him the guidance after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who, who, who has, so to say, put a seal on his heart? So are they not admonished or reminded? وَقَالُوا مَا هِيَ إِلَّا حَيَاتُ الدُّنْيَا نَمُوتُ وَنَحْيَا And they say, there is no other life for us except this life or this world. 
دنیا نمو تو وی ڈائی اور سیلز و نہیا اینڈ لیو اور سیلز ناؤ یو ای اینڈ یو میٹ مینس اللہ گز لائف اللہ پرس یو ٹو ڈیتھ دیس نو 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 وی ڈائی اور سیلز وی لیو اور سیلز دس از دی میٹیریلزم آف دس ایج نو بڑی دس از دی ورلڈ آف میٹر دیر آر لاس آف فزیکل چینج laws of chemical change and that these laws this universe is going there's no need of some controller and some somebody running this universe no we don't believe mama yo le kona illa dar and nothing kills us except the time time passes and we are finished that's all no god this is dahriyat you might have heard this word dahriyat materialism dahriyat wa ma yuhlikuna illa dahr wa ma lahum bidhalika min ilm they don't have any knowledge of it inhum la yadunun they are only conjecturing guessing wa ya tutla alayhim ayatuna bayyinatin and whenever clear revelations are recited unto them ma kana hujjatuhum their last argument is illa an qalu tu bi abaida in kuntu sadiqin in the long run in the end they always used to say okay if there is going to be resurrection bring our four fathers before us then we shall believe that there there can be resurrection qul allah yuhyiku say allah will revive you thumma yumitukum allah is keeping you alive yuhyikum summa yumitukum then he will put you to death summa yajmaukum ila yawm alqiyamah la rayb fi then he will gather you all together to the day of resurrection in which there is no doubt walakin naksar an-nas la ya'lamun but most of the people know not walillahi mulku samawati wal ard and for allah is the sovereignty and kingdom of the heavens and the earth wa yawm taqum as-saah and the day on which the hour will come yawm ayyin yakhsar al mubtilun on that day the followers of false hood will be the losers wa tara kull ummatin jasiya kull ummatin jasiya you will see all the nations <coughs> they will be kneeling down kull ummatin tud'a ila kitabiha every ummah every group every nation will be called towards the book of the record of its events and deeds and then al yawm tujzaun ma kuntum ta'malu and then it will be said today you will be rewarded and recompensed for what you had been doing hada kitabuna this record of ours this book of ours yantaqu alaykum bil haqq it is speaking against you with truth there is nothing wrong in this record as i said it might be a computer a big joint computer simply you press a button and the life of a person of an individual the whole film might start now what can you deny you are doing it see it is it not you how will you deny hada kitabuna yantaqu alaykum bil haqq inna kunna nastansikhu ma kuntum ta'malun we had been writing and recording what you are doing from all the na amanu wa amilus salihat now so those who came to believe and they did good deeds fa yudkhiluhum rabbuhum fi rahmatihi so their lord will admit them make them enter his mercy zalika huwal fawzul mubin and that will be definitely the most manifest success wa amma alladhina kafaru afalam takun ayati tutla alaykum as for those <coughs> who disbelieved it will be said to them was not my revelation recited to you first time but but do you show arrogance la kuntum qauman mujrimin and verily you are the guilty people criminals wa idha qila inna wa hadha allah haqqun wa saatu la rayba fiha and when it was said that the promise of allah is true and that our will come there's no doubt about it kuntum ma nadri masa 
You said, we don't know, we can't understand. What is this hour? In Nazunno Illa Zannan. This ayah, as I understand it, is, is, we can say that the condition of most of us is reflected in this ayah. We think, yes, your arguments are convincing. It seems that a day of judgment should come. The virtuous people should get the reward. It's very logical. And the culprits... And those people who were rebellious towards their Lord, they must be punished. Yes. But, in Nazunno Illa Zannan, we do feel what you are saying is correct. It might happen. But, But we are not convinced. And unless the conviction is there, there will be no change in your behavior. A dogma, believing in the day after the last day and resurrection, but not the conviction. So you will spend everything to get this world, unless there is a conviction that that day has to come and there is going to be the life of hereafter and that will be the eternal and that will be the real life. Unless this conviction is there, your attitudes, your behavior in this world will not change. وَإِذَا قِيلَ إِنَّ بَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ وَالسَّعَاتُ الْعَرَيْبَ فِيهَا قُلْتُمْ مَا نَدْرِي مَا السَّعَاةُ إِنَّ ذُنُّ إِلَّا زَنَّنْ وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمُسْتَيْقِنِينَ We do feel. It might happen, yes. But, we are not convinced. وَبَدَا لَهُمْ سَيِّعَاتُ مَا عَمِلُوهُ And then, the evils that they had committed will come before them. وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِعُونَ And then, those things will encompass them, about which they were be mocking. They were mocking. What is Jannah? What is Jahannam? They were laughing at it. But now those things will come before them as realities. Vakil al yawman ansakum kama nasitum liqa yawmikum haza. It will be said to them, Today we shall forget you. Just as you forgot the meeting of the day, of this day of today. You just ignored it, so we are going to ignore you. Go away. And your abode is fire. And there are no helpers for you. This is because you took the revelations of Allah in mockery. And the life of that world, previous world, it deceived you, deluded you. So today you will not be taken out of this hell. Nor they will be given any leave to appeal. Okay, apologize. When you give this permission to somebody, what does it mean? If you apologize, I'll forgive you. But no, there this door will be closed. No leave of appeal or apology. So, for Allah is the all praise, who is the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, Rabbil Alameen, who is the Lord of all the worlds. And to him belongs the dominion and majesty of the heavens and the earth. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And he is all-powerful, all-wise. Now the last surah of this series of Hameen, Surah Al-Ahqaf. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hameen. Tanzeel al-Kitab min Allah al-Aziz al-Hakim. The same. The sending down of this book is from Allah, who is all authority, all powerful, and all wise. Ma khalaqna samawati wa lardha wa ma bainahum illa bil haq. We have not created the heavens and the earth and whatever is in between them, but with truth and for a fixed period of time. 
this universe will not go on and go on forever. No. This used to be the idea, maybe about a half a century back, the era of Newtonian physics, Newton, Newtonian physics. The idea was that matter has been here from ever, it will remain forever. The law of indestructibility of matter. Matter cannot be destroyed. So this world, this universe cannot come to an end. This was the idea prevalent among the physicists. But now the things have changed. Now, on the one hand, they say this universe is expanding, the theory of expanding universe. And then the time will come when it will fold on itself and it will come to an end. Start it from one point and it will go to the same one point again. So, Ajal in Musamma, this is not an eternal creation. As for those who have disbelieved, they are turning away from what they are being warned. Say to them, see, consider whom you are calling upon besides Allah, Aruni Maja Khalakku bin al Ard. Please show me. What have they created in the land, in the earth? Am lahum shirku fi samawat? Or do they have any partnership in the heavens? Eetuni be kitabi min qabli haza. Bring to me any book which might have been sent down before this book that I am presenting. Aw asharatun min ilmin. If not a book, any remnants of knowledge. In kuntum sadiqeen, if you are truthful. وَمَنْ أَوَلُّ مِمَّنْ يَدْعُو مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ مَنْ لَا يَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Who is more farther astray than the person who is calling upon whom, calling upon him besides Allah, who is not going to answer him till the day of resurrection. وَهُمْ أَنْ رَعَاهِمْ غَافِلُونَ And they are unawares that somebody is calling upon them. The angels, they don't know that some, some people are there in Arabia praying to us, calling to us. Maybe the souls and spirits of the saints, they might be absolutely unaware that someone is saying, Ya Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Shayin Lillah, Oh Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, give me something. They would be unawares. وَهُمْ عَنْ دُعَائِهِمْ قَافِلُونَ وَإِذَا خُشِرَ النَّاسُ قَالُوا لَهُمْ عَادَانَ And when the mankind will be gathered, they will become enemies for them. وَقَالُوا بِعِبَادَتِهِمْ قَافِرِينَ And they will deny having been worshipped. وَإِذَا تُطْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا بَيِّنَاتٍ And when our clear and shining revelations are recited unto them, قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاهُمْ those people who disbelieve, who have rejected, they say about this truth which has come to them, this is clear sorcery and magic. Do they say that Muhammad has forged it, composed it himself? Say, if I have forged it, then you don't have any authority to save me from Allah's wrath. This is the biggest crime in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَا تَمْلِكُونَ دِي مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيَا You won't be able to help me against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. هُوَ عَالَمُ بِمَا تُفِيدُونَ فِيهِ He very well knows what you say among yourselves concerning it. When you are alone, you say no. This what is... Muhammad is presenting, well, it seems to be beyond human power. They say, no, 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 where are you going? It seems, you know, his magic has come over you. So, but these in their private meetings, they used to admit, this is our other source. This is not, this is not 
the composition of Muhammad himself. Kafa bihi shahidam bani wa bainakum. Allah is sufficient as a witness between you and me. Bahuwal ghafuru rahim. And he is the forgiving, the merciful. Kul maa kuntu bida min al-rusul. Say, I am not the first messenger. That no messenger had come before, before me. Bid'ah and bid'at means something absolutely new. In our Sharia, if some new rite or ritual is invented without having any proof in the Sunnah of Muhammad and the Sunnah of the Sahaba, then we call it bid'ah because it has no roots. So, ma kunto bid'ah min rusul the case is not that I am the first messenger of Allah and nobody had before me claimed to be messenger of Allah. Mama Adima, you follow me. This ayah, when I, whenever I read and pass by it, I shiver. What is Muhammad saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and what he is being commanded here to say? Mama Adima, you follow me, wala bekum. I don't know what will be done to me and to you. This is extreme humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My battle is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever he may decide. Allahumma inni abduka wa abnu abdika wa abnu amatika fi qabzatika nazil fiya hukmuka amilun fiya qadawuka Oh Allah, I am your bondsman. My father was also a slave of yours. My mother was also a slave of yours. And I am in your grip. Fi qabzatika. Nasiyati biyadik. My forehead is in your hand. Mazil fi ahukmuk. Within my body, within myself. Your command. Your command is effective. Adilun fiya qadaw. Whatever you command and decide for me, it will be justice. This is abdiyah. The climax of abdiyat. A man reduces himself to nearly zero. I have nothing to Allah. Everything is with you. You know everything, I know nothing. فَإِنَّ قَتَعَلَمُ وَلَا عَلَمُ وَتَقْدُرُ وَلَا عَقْدُرُ this is a part of that very important du'a of istikhara about which the companions of the Prophet say that the Prophet taught us this, this prayer just like he taught us Quran. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi ilmika wa astakhiruka bi qudratika wa asaluka bil fazlika al-azim fa innaka taqdiru wa la akhdiru wa ta'alamu wa la alamu You have all the authority, I have no authority. You know everything, I don't know anything. This is Humility, humbleness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ مَا كُنْتُ بِدْعَمْ مِنَ الرُّسُلُ وَمَا عَدْرِي مَا يُفَعْلُ بِي وَلَا بِكُمْ إِنَا تَمِعُ إِلَّا مَا يُحَا إِلَيَّ Only I am following what is being revealed to me. That's all. وَمَا عَنَا إِلَّا نَذِرُ مُبِينَ And I am only a warner, plain and clear warner. قُلْ أَرَعَيْتُ مِنْ كَانَ مِنْ إِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَكَفْرَتُمْ بِهِ وَشَاهِدَ شَاهِدٌ مِّن بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ عَلَى مِسْلِ Say to them, just consider, if this Qur'an which I am presenting is really from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you have rejected it. On the other hand, a witness from among the children of Israel, he has testified that this is correct. Now this ayah about the interpretation of this ayah, there are many opinions. One is that it's common. All the people who accept Quran, accepted Quran from among the Bani Israel, Yehud, so this ayah denotes to them. One opinion is especially Abdullah ibn Salam, ta'ala, he was a very knowledgeable person among the learned people of Jews. And some say this denotes to the prophecies made by Hazrat Musa and Hazrat Isa, alayhi musalatu wa salam. Wallahu alam. Fa'amana wa stagbartum. 
So he confirmed. And you are showing arrogance. In the la la yadil qawm al-zalimeen. Verily Allah doesn't love such evil doers. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَوْ كَانَ خَيْرًا مَا سَبَقُونَ إِلَيْهِ And so said those who disbelieved regarding those who came to believe. They were common people, poor people, some of the slaves, some of whom you call handymen, just as Khabbab al-Arath, he was a blacksmith and so on and so forth. Now the chiefs of the clans of Quraysh, they said, had this thing been a precious thing, these people would not have come forward and accepted them. We should have come forward first and accepted it. Because Allah is generous to us. He has given us wealth. He has given us position, honor, power. So how, how come that these menials, Ma'az Allah, how could they come forward? They could not have superseded us. And they would disbelieve, say of those who believe, if this message were a good thing, they would have not attained it before us. And when they have not accepted its guidance, so now they will say, this is an old falsehood. Before this Qur'an, there was the book of Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam, that was the guide and mercy, imamam wa rahmah. These words appear in our dua, our prayers regarding when we say to Allah, Allahumma rabbana anis fahshatana fi quburina, warhamna bil Qur'an al-Azim, wa ja'aluhu lana imamam wa nooram wa hudam wa rahmah. Make this Qur'an leader for us, so that we follow it. Imam wa rahmah wa hadha kitabun musaddiqun lisanun arabiyyan. And this is the book which has come confirming Torah in Arabic language. لَيُنْذِنَ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا So that these people who have gone astray, they should be warned. وَبُشْرَى لِلْمُحْسَنِينَ And so that there should be glad tidings for those who achieve excellence in their deen of Islam and Iman. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ وَرْدُوا مُحْسِنِينَ There is those who said, Our Lord is Allah, and then they stuck to it. They stood firm in it. Firm regarding aqidah and creed. Firm regarding practice and deeds. Really obeying Him. And not obeying anyone else in which there comes a disobedience for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not loving anything, anyone, more than Allah. This is istiqama. To say, Rabbul Allah is easy. But to show firmness on it, is not an easy job. Allah Iqbal says in Persian, To me goyam musalmanam bil larzam. When I say I am a Muslim, I tremble. Why? I know what are the difficulties of this La ilaha illallah. Saying this word, these words is very easy. But to fulfill them in your practice and action is not an easy job. So I tremble. In the Ladina Karu Rabbun Allah, so must Akamu Fala Khofun Alehim, Varam Yasarun. For them there will be no fear and no grief. They will be the dwellers of the garden. And they will stay there forever, forever. And it will be the recompense or reward for what they had been doing. And we have enjoined upon man kindness towards his parents. This we have read in Surah Al-Uqman also. But here, Ihsana, this word has come clearly. Kindness and good behavior and respect and service to the parents. Hamalatu ummuhu kurhan wa wazaathu kurha. His mother 
kept bearing him in his womb with hardship and then delivered him with hardship. وَفِسَالُهُ سَلَاسُونَ شَهْرًا وَحَمْلُهُ وَفِسَالُهُ And this period of the bearing and the weaning of him is 30 months. حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَ شُدَّهُ Until when he reaches his maturity. وَبَلَغَ عَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً And reaches the age of 40. This place is very important. Quran says, the maturity of human beings is at the age of 40. What type of maturity is it? Physical maturity, 16, 17, 18, you are mature fully. But this is the psychological maturity. The psychological maturity of a person, it is at 40 years. Until when he reaches his maturity, and now it has been explained, that is, he attained the age of 40. Now he says, O oh my Lord, grant me, so that I can give thanks to you for all the blessings that you bestowed upon me and my parents. And grant me that I should do good deeds, righteous deeds, which you like, with which you are pleased. And also, make my progeny good for me, if my progeny is also righteous. But their deeds will add to you know, my reward in the hereafter. Asli is riyati in the tuptoi like. I turn my face towards you, my name in Muslimin. And definitely I am from among those who have surrendered themselves before your will. This is very important. Before this age of 40, Let me say that nature uses man. Man comes to himself at the age of 40. Nature is using us. Nature wants that there should be procreation. Yes, generation after generation. This world is to continue. It has to be inhabited. So you know it. Run away. Run this way, that way. Get married. Now you are children. Now just bring them up. So nature is using you. Until this age, passions, emotions, sentiments, in most of the peoples, they get the upper hand. But at the age of 40, you know, these things somewhat settle down. And there, then the man thinks who I am, where I am heading. And at this stage, if he is still a tool in the hands of his ido libido, then he is doomed. But at this age, if he delivers himself from the overpowering of the ido libido, comes to himself, he takes up to himself an ideal, in a small iron, I have to live for this, die for this. salati wa nusuki wa wa mamati rabbil alameen. So he is a person, blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أُولَائِكَ الَّذِينَ نَتَقَبَّلُوا عَنْهُمْ أَحْسَنَ مَا عَمِلُوا They are those from whom we shall accept the best deeds that they would have been committing. وَنَتَجَاوَزْ وَنْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ And we shall just overlook their evils. There can be no human being absolutely free from any bad deed. There is a hadith of the Prophet, Kullu bani adama khattawun wa khairul khattain at tawwabun. All children of Adam, they commit mistakes. But the best among these people who commit mistakes are those who repent, come back, refresh their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
ask his forgiveness. They are the best people. So now Allah says, we shall just ignore. Maybe they have committed something wrong also. But if the general direction of the life, general direction is correct, you have turned your face actually to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَتَرَ السَّلَوَاتِ وَالْنَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَعَنَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ You are proceeding in that direction. But during this journey, maybe at some time you slip, you fall. Okay, no harm. Stand up. Continue the journey. So these pitfalls might be there. But the direction has to be correct. And if your direction is correct, maybe you have not been able to achieve much, no harm. If you kept on in that direction, and you kept on spending whatever you had for that purpose, well, you are successful in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Despite the pitfalls, despite any shortcomings, despite any evil deeds which might have happened, and we join them, make them enter, and go with the Dwellers of the garden. Vada Sidq Allah Kanu Yuadu. This is the true promise which was made with them. Now this is one character. That when he is mature psychologically, he says, Rabbiozani Anashpur Ali Matakalati Adam Talaya. He has come to know his creator, his Lord, and is praying to him. But there is another character also. وَالَّذِي قَالَ لِوَالِدَيْهِ On the contrary, the one who says to his parents, اُفِّلْ لَكُمَا فَائِ to both of you. أَتَعِدَانِنِي أَنْ أُخْرَجَ You say that I will be taken out again from my grave. وَقَدْ خَلَتِ الْقُرُورُ مِنْ قَبْلِ So many generations have passed before me. وَهُمَا يَسْتَغِيسَانِ اللَّهَ وَإِلَكَ آمِنْ and the parents, father and mother, they are imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying to him, Woe to thee! Believe! Believe that you will be resurrected. Don't go in the opposite direction. Verily, the promise of Allah is true. Then he says, No, no, no. Mother and father, you keep these things with you. I am not going to believe in these things. I think these are the fables of the ancients and nothing else. So both characters you will find in the world. Those are they against whom has been proved through the word of chastisement among the communities of the jinn and mankind that have passed away before them. So many people going. He is also one of them. In Nahum Kanu Khasarin, verily they were the losers. And for all, there are ranks according to their deeds. All people of the garden are not equal. There are levels. In the same way, in the hell, they are not equally treated. Different types of chastisements for different types of people. And so that Allah pays them back in full their deeds. And they are not wronged. And the day, we call the day, when those people who are disbelieving, they will be presented before the fire. This is, come and see with your eyes. أَذْهَبْتُمْ تَيِّبَاتِكُمْ فِي حَيَاتِكُمْ الدُّنِيَا And it will be said, you received all good things in, the, in your life of that world, which is now gone. You enjoyed, you rejoiced, you had plenty. You had the luxuries. You have tasted all good things in that world. And you have enjoyed their comfort. 
فل یوم تجزون عذاب الخون بما كنتم تستكبرون في الارض بغير الحق وبما كنتم تفسقون بت تو دے دس دے یو بی گیون ریوارڈ دی چستائسمنٹ اف ہیملیشن اینڈ ڈیگریڈیشن ڈیو ٹو دی ایروگنس دیٹ یو ار شوئنگ ان دی ارت فی الارض بغیر الحق ود اؤٹ اے رائٹ وبما كنتم تفسقون اینڈ بیکاز اف یور ٹرانسگریسنگ وَذْكُرْ أَخَا عَاد Just make a mention of the brother of the nation of Aad That is, Hazrat Ehud alayhi salatu wassalam After the people of Nuh were destroyed That was the first nation which came up From the sons of Sam alayhi salatu wassalam Semitic races The first was who went down directly to the south and settled in the southern area of the Arabian Peninsula, which is now called Ahqaf. Ahqaf means the mountains of sand. It's a very, very, very severe type of desert. And But at that time, it was very fertile. Now, when the Azab of Allah came, chastisement after that, it is now the worst worst ever desert in the world. Vaskur Akha Aad Now just mention, make mention of the brother of Aad, that is Hud alayhi salam. He is under a qawmahu bil ahqaf. When he warned his people in the sand hills, وَقَدْ خَلَتِ النُّدُرُ مِنْ مَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ And other warners had passed before him also. That's so. You know, Nabi and Rasul. Many Anbiya can come. But finally, the Messenger comes, the Rasul comes. And then the fate is decided. Allah ta'abudu illallah. All of them had been saying them. Don't worship and obey anyone except Allah. Inni akhafu alaykum azaba yawmin azim. Verily, I fear for you the chastisement of a mighty day. They said, have you come to us and you want to turn us away from our gods? If you are truthful, now bring to us the chastisement which you are threatening us with. Bring it. He said, knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When your terms, your term comes to an end, he knows. When the judgment will be issued by Allah, he knows. I don't know. Baubalehu kumma ursil to me. I am only conveying to you the message with which I have been sent. Walakinni arakum kamatan jalun. But verily, I see, O oh my people, that you are ignorant people. You are not seeing what could happen. فَلَمَّا رَاهُ عَارِدًا مُسْتَقْبِلَ عَوْدِيَتِهِمْ And when they saw a sudden cloud advancing towards their valleys, قَالُوا They were happy. قَالُوا هَذَا عَارِدُ الْمُمْتِرُونَ This is a cloud. It will give us rain. بَلْ هُوَ مَسْتَعْجَلْتُمْ بِهِ No, no, no. It is not the rain. It's that chastisement about which you wanted to hasten. You wanted rain. Okay, let us come. Rihun fi hazabun alim, a very strong and harsh wind, in which there was a painful chastisement. To them there were kulla shayin, destroying everything the amre rabbiha, due to the Lord of their, due to the command of their Lord. Fasbahu la yura illa masakidhu. Now they became. That nothing was seen, nothing was visible except their dwellings. People who dwell there, they were not to be seen. Finished. Kazalika Najjil Qamul Mujrimeen. In this way, we reward the people who are guilty. Walakad makkarnahu fi ma'in makkarnahu fi. And O Quraysh, we established them in this land more than we have established you. Whatever we gave to Aad, we have not given to you. 
وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ سَمْعًا وَأَبْصَارًا وَأَفْدَا And for them also, we give them the, the hearing and seeing and inferring from أَغْنَا عَنْهُمْ سَمْعُهُمْ وَلَا أَفْصَارُهُمْ وَلَا أَفْدَتُهُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Nothing of these faculties could avail them any, anything. Is كَانُوا يَجْحَدُونَ بِعَيَاتِ اللَّهِ When they were rejecting the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِهُونَ and the things about which they were mocking, they came and they encircled him. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayat wa zhik al-haki. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar the Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together, we can make a difference.